Well, I think it's the, uh, the culmination of playing youth hockey all the way up till they graduate from Bantam. And then the next, uh, the next step in the, in the path is high school hockey. And high school sports, of course, in the Quad Cities is huge. And uh, now these kids have an opportunity to play uh, high school hockey, uh, even though it's a, you know, a, uh, a whole bunch of schools on the Illinois-Iowa borders, both sides of the borders, uh, that uh, participate. So it's, um, it's a high school sport, and these kids are all in love with the game. And I've always said that it's learning to ride a bike and then learning plays on top of it or learning tricks on top of it. It's two things in one that you have to learn, so it's a little more sophisticated sport. Well, the beginning of the season, it started off pretty rough. But then throughout the season, we started having more fun. We started coming together. And then we started getting more wins, and then everything became just a little bit, a little bit easier for us than it was at the beginning. And then we just won state. It was just awesome. I think winning the state title definitely put us on the map and people recognize wow they've become a great team from years past only one in 10 year, 10 games my sophomore year and I think 19 my my uh, junior year we weren't expected to have much but winning the 25 games in the season I mean just blew everything out of water and all the all the press is coming to interview us and that, that's what's getting us out there it means a lot to me I mean coming in the season we've never done anything this big for the community, like our pink and the rink game for breast awareness. And that just goes so much further than our state championship game. And anytime we can do something like that for the community, it's, it's incredible. And that's what I think I'm most impressed about for this season.